and she always came back from the dances and everything so ecstatic and thanking me and telling me that all of her friends were amazed that her makeup wasn't running or like fading or whatever during the dance. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a prom look on a budget because I know when you're in school, getting high-end makeup may not be the easiest task in the world. So I picked up a bunch of uh, lower cost products. I think I spent under 30 for all of them or right around 30 with shipping and everything for each of these products. I did test them all out the other day to see if they lasted and they did. I went out into the sun and walked around for hours and I didn't have runny eyeliner. My foundation still looked decent. All of those good things. So this is makeup you could wear out to a dance and not really worry about it fading. All right, let's get started. So first thing you wanna do is start off with a clean face, which I have already done. And then I am just gonna take my concealer and I picked up the Pro Conceal, uh, High Definition Concealer. And I will put the prices like down here if I can, or in the description box below. Uh, just so you know how much each of these items were and uh, this is nice because it has a brush attached to it so you can actually just apply it without worrying about having makeup brushes so I'm just gonna take one of my real technique brushes uh, this is a foundation brush but I'm gonna use it to blend out the concealer and you could also use like a drugstore brand brush to do all of this so that you're not spending a ton of money if you wanted to get brushes. Now the key if you have deep set eyes is to get up in the crevice to kind of lighten this area over here and to make your eyes pop a little bit more and just make sure you blend really well. All right next up I have my Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 hour Skin Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation. This is also, this is actually more like a medium coverage. So again, I'm just taking the little brush. You could also do this with your hands if you really wanted to. But I'm just gonna take it and blend it. I did wear this all day the other day out in the sun without any issues with it, which was amazing. I was really looking for something that wouldn't just melt as soon as you put it on. I figured being out in the heat, walking around, was pretty equivalent to spending an hour or two indoors, you know, dancing close proximity so it might be like a little heated. So it was kind of a similar outcome. Next up I have this palette and this is the Revolution Redemption Eyeshadow Palette Iconic 1. Um, I picked this one because it did have take this little sponge applicator which you could use I'm not going to right now um because it has more like fun colors so you've got like golds and like good taupe colors and all those like naturally colors and a few like fun sparkles that could be used um really well for like a dance or something like that all right we're gonna use my cover girl brush to demonstrate what you can do so I'm going to take this cream color down at the end for a base. Then I'm going to do a wash of this brown color right here. And I'm just going to bring that right over the brow bone. And then I'm going to take a darker color. I'm going to take this little color right here, this dark one. And I'm actually going to use my finger. I'm just going to tap that into the corner of my eye. And then I'm going to blend it with this. And the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nice gold color, tap it right on my lid. There we go. Now, if you want to do your brows, um, because I know that's big right now, if you want to do your brows, I highly recommend if you have a neutral palette, taking an angled brush if you can get one. If not, um, you can use like a smaller shadow brush. But taking a non-glittery color that's similar to your brow shape. 
So I'm going to use the darker one right here. And I'm just going to go in with an angled. And that way you're not spending extra money on other products. And I'm going to use this pencil that I picked up. And this is a Kajal pencil by Essence 01 Black. And it's a pencil. So I was really nervous about this um, lasting when I was walking around. But I didn't end up with a runny eye, which I usually would with a pencil if I'm walking around in the sun like I did the other day. If, however, you have a little extra money, I would highly recommend getting a gel liner and practicing with it because that's not going to run or come off if you are at a, a dance or something. Or you could do a liquid liner if you are confident enough to do it. But I think a gel liner is like the nice in-between that gives you some control because you're using like a little brush and you have control over it. Um, but it's just whatever you're comfortable with. But I found that this worked so well for a pencil. Like I didn't have it um, run or give me sad eye or panda eye or whatever at all. So highly recommend this and it wasn't super expensive. Alright, next up I have some, oh, okay. Next up I have a mascara. This is an ELF or ELF uh, waterproof lengthening and volumizing mascara. And this is in black. And this is just what the brush looks like, or the spoolie looks like. Again, I did opt for all, um lesser priced items all at like the very bottom of the price list and I also was looking for quality of product so a waterproof uh just in case you never know um like when I would do my sister's makeup for her events because she's a lot younger than I am. I would always do like gel liner and I would make sure she was wearing products that weren't going to immediately run. Not necessarily expensive items, but items that weren't going to fade in the heat and everything. And she always came back from the dances and everything so ecstatic and thanking me and telling me that all of her friends were amazed that her makeup wasn't running or like fading or whatever during the dance. Um, and it's just because of using a product that's a little bit better and maybe even not more expensive like opting for a gel liner or a um a pencil liner that holds better than the like two dollar pencil you can pick up at the drugstore so that kind of thing anyway uh so a waterproof mascara just in case to give you a little bit extra protection uh i've got the last three items are actually all elf but uh, a blush, and this is in Mellow Moth. And again, I'm using a drugstore blush brush. And I'm just going to really blend that out so I don't have crazy cheeks. And the final thing I've got is this. Now you can opt for a lipstick. I opted for a lip stain. I wanted something that wouldn't necessarily immediately come off while you're, like, getting punch or whatever uh whatever you end up doing during the dance just judging um but anyway i wanted to get something that would last a little bit longer obviously you still want to carry it with you so you can touch up if you have to and i opted for um red orange which i don't think i would do again but it still lasted pretty decently when i went out the other day so with the lip stain, you're just going to want it to dry. Obviously, find a color that you like that's not super vibrant. And honestly, in person, this color isn't that crazy. On camera, though, this thing is like orange. orange. But at least with the lip stain. So with the lip stain, I can do this. There's no real color. I can enjoy a drink. Without leaving lip prints everywhere. So, you know, just one more way to make sure that your makeup lasted the night so that you're still looking photo perfect by the end of the night. And, 
Yeah. Honestly, number one tips, aim for products that are going to last. Um, buy yourself um, either gel liner, liquid liner, or a pencil like this. Test it and make sure that in the heat or whatever, you're not going to get that runny eye. And have fun. Prom is so much fun, even if the guy that you are really into doesn't end up going with you, go with friends, enjoy yourself, and if prom isn't your thing, don't feel pressured to go. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below with your favorite products to wear for dances, and I love you guys so much, I will see you soon.